you know, some people claim to be fair and balanced, but we actually try to be balanced here, and we don't even claim it. We just tr just try to do it. We have a channel on YouTube, a whole channel devoted just to the Young Turks. 99th most viewed channel today on YouTube. Oh, really? How do you like us now? And a little ribbon with it. Hmm. Congratulations, Ben Mack. What's you have a ribbon? This is the point. If it's a still <laughs> picture, if you if you see like a story in it, yeah, it's crazy. If nothing's moved, but you can see a whole scene. Anna, do you love uh, Justin Timberlake? Um, he's okay. I'm not a big fan, but he's good. Do you find him breathtakingly hot? No. God, can you believe that this was coming out of Princeton before it's destroyed? We should put it in the Library of Congress so people can see for the ages that there was all this racism. Lonnie Latham, he's a senior pastor at the South Tulsa Baptist Church. Now, I'm guessing he was involved in some sort of uh, oh, illicit behavior. There are some exceptions where you do do S apostrophe S, so I don't know how it works, and it may be perfectly reasonable. I guess I would have done apostrophe S. Comedian Jimmy Dore is with us. The left the right are crazy. I'm in the middle. Well, let me tell you something. Nothing great was ever achieved by a guy trying to reach consensus. If Trump is our president, it's your fault. No, it's Hillary Clinton's fault because if she needs my vote, she has to come get it. I want to talk about a professor and she was recently fired because of something that she does during her off time. She participates in a burlesque show. In a little less than two months, fans of UT Athletics will have a whole new way to watch their favorite teams when UT and ESPN launch their 24-hour day Longhorn Network. We don't know what the apocalypse is going to be, but if you could choose an apocalypse, what would your apocalypse be? Everybody thinks they want a zombie apocalypse. I think that is the worst idea possible after watching The Walking Dead. We're out here in UCLA today, and we're going to be talking to the students about the undie run that's going to be going on tonight. Join me in welcoming our new assistant producer, Hannah Christen. Sometimes girls are dissuaded to being more opinionated and being more outspoken, mm -hmm. so I'm pretty proud that I am upholding that quality. Welcome to Think Tank. I know what you're thinking right now. This is TYTU and you are half right. It is TYTU, but it's TYTU all grown up. It's been brought to their attention. Clearly, this is a very popular, mm -hmm. controversial uh, uh, website. Go through and identify legally what they're bound to do. And we've got comedian Grace Baldridge here. Yeah. Because then when you bring him back down, you notice like the crotch harness and you're like, oh. Welcome to Murder with Friends, the show where two friends get together and talk about some of the darker sides to history. The concept the concept is called energy harvesting and it's nothing new. It's a lot like wind or water powering electric generators which has been happening for a long time. Welcome to the first ever What the Flick. We're your hosts, Cenk Huger of the Young Turks, Ben Mankwitz of Turner Classic Movies, and Matt Atchity of Rotten Tomatoes. The entire script is a bunch of pop culture references, whatever, and they're just selling it so hard. It's funny, it's subversive in a lot of ways as far as this sort of genre goes. It's smart, it's good, I liked it. Welcome to the NFL preview uh, for TYT Sports. These are our first videos, I feel very excited. This is the inaugural uh, version of the channel. We've come up with the uh, top eight hairstyles in NBA history. I'd say the best part is probably the fangs on the bottom of his chin to make him that much more astounding a rebounder. Francis Maxwell is our World Cup uh, expert. I think the Brazil could go all the way. They've got a great chance of winning this competition. My name is Emma and I am going to be the TYT politics intern for the summer. So this is my first video blog. I, I hope I don't royally screw it up. All top 20 recipients of corporate PAC money are from states that have less than the mean population of the country. After the attempt by the Senate to shut down Elizabeth Warren, our correspondent in D.C., Ryan Grimm, was able to link up with her. So is there any hope that that, you know, peace through strength kind of cliche could actually lead to a more peaceful outcome, or is it just wishful thinking? I think that people in the Democratic Party are brainwashed by the concept that this is the way you do things. It is my responsibility and the responsibility of any uh, journalist to legitimately, honestly report and assess the problems that we have. No, we're not going to be afraid of what we're doing. We're not going to be embarrassed about what we're doing. We're not going to be reticent about doing it. We're, we're just going to do it. Who we are is who we aspire to be. If we pay attention and do the work, we might just build a more perfect union. 